I have a question, dude. What's up? Do you do you ever feel like um, other people know that you're a stoner? You mean like in day to day life or like on? Your yeah, like or... the real world. You're like fucking out there. <laughs> well, I, I I pretty much like just I'm an open book. I just like if once I get to know people, I just tell them what I do and who oh. I am. Right, right. That's and, nice, dude. Yeah. And my work, my boss, I, he actually asked me as recently. He's like, "Ah, you, you smoke weed?" And I was like, "Yeah, I dabble, you know, but I get a, you know, that weed hangover. <laughs> <laughs> the weed hangover." <laughs> See, I just made that shit up. <laughs> yeah, but you, you got like an adult job. Like I work with a bunch of kids at a pizza place, so it's like it's a given. Everybody there smokes weed. Actually, right. I went to the liquor store after work tonight, and I and the guy was like, "Did you get a lot of stoners today?" And like, as <laughs> I was like, I don't think so. I mean, we got busy for a while. And then as I was leaving, I was like, I should have said, like, everybody I work with. I, I forgot, dude. Because so, for me, like, 420, yeah, it's 420, you know. It's excellent fucking weed holiday. But I'm just going to smoke weed regardless, you know. Yeah, like, a day doesn't change shit for me or anything. Dude, my short-term memory is, is absolute garbage when I smoke, though. Like, I... I that's almost what, part of the reason why I can't, like, do it around people in public, like, at a party or something. Like, generally, I like to tell stories and, like, make people laugh. But, like, right. mid-sentence mid, mid sentence or mid-word, I'll be like, you know what? I forgot what it was. Just keep, <laughs> you guys keep talking. I'll figure yeah. it out and come back to you later. It's probably because, like, you just think about what you're saying too much, you know? It's like you think about it, and then you just suddenly forget about what you're talking about. Like, I have a lot of, like, whenever I get stoned, I, like, think too much about shit. Yeah, it'll you know, put you like back it's... in your head. Right, exactly. Puts you in your head. Yeah, what do you think about uh, <clears throat> legalization? I think it's it's positive. It's definitely positive for a lot of people and for a lot of different ways for, you know, for seizures and diseases and all different kinds of things that people could deal with. Mm -hmm. I, think it's, I think it should be available for people who need it. And yeah. even if they want it. Just want it. Yeah, right. it's not like it's not hurting anybody. It'll be a few years. I think it's going to be federally legalized first uh, before so. all the states. Yeah, I think it's like on the verge because uh, Canada just did it and they're seeing the positive effects of it and how much money they're generating and all these companies that are getting big. And those companies can't uh, go on the U.S. stock exchange, which You're this is really boring. Right. But they can't do that, so they're ultimately like weakening their own market. Yeah. I, I, so, I was thinking about it differently. I, I, I've just heard yeah. so many like scary stories where it's like the state legalized it, and then for some reason the fucking feds came in and like took all their shit and closed their business down or whatever. It's right. Like, what are you I th doing? I think like as time goes on, especially within the next five years, <clears throat> I think that the federal will beat the states to it, and then it it'll be an interesting thing whether or not you know the states follow in suit. You know. Because that's weird. That's, all right, that's a whole weird tangent. <laughs> that's all right. It's it's good to talk about. It's important messages for the peoples out there. Yeah, yes, you peoples. YouTube. The peoples. Take <laughs> the, the peoples. Take back your marijuana, Gotham. Yes, Gotham. <laughs> you want your marijuana. <laughs> and your strawberries. <laughs> Fucking Bane. <laughs> That's like, I'm probably going to end up cutting this out, but it's so funny. <laughs> the Bane voice is the fucking best. No, leave it in. Leave it in. Fight leave for Bane. Leave it in. Leave it in. Do you feel like it makes you a little more lazy? Like, lazier? Uh, no. I don't think so. It actually makes me want to work out for some reason. Like, do exercises. Oh, okay. That's really interesting. It is. What about, it's weird. What about in terms of creativity? Oh, it's great. It's good for, like, fo especially for, like, visual art. It, it helps you focus on that kind of thing a lot more. Yeah, I totally agree. I feel like it helps you to uh, also see things from a different light, which is, in my opinion, very very helpful, especially for art, because you got to be thinking in a different uh, perspective. Question for you, then. <laughs> uh, how... Sure, sir. I, I noticed that you've been doing more edited stuff. Do you? How does mm -hmm. that? How does that help you? Help you or not help you while you're doing editing? It actually helps me immensely because I spoke throughout the entire time. Uh, but I think it really helps because the way that I edit right now, it's very glitch, and smoking weed helps me to enjoy glitch a lot more. Huh. 
Huh. Like I showed it to my wife and she doesn't smoke weed. And one of my videos that I recently made was just like straight up glitch. It's just J. Jonah Jameson from fucking Spider-Man laughing. <laughs> <laughs> He's like laughing throughout every single movie. And so I just cut all the laughs and made it glitchy. And she didn't think it was funny. But I, I think it's very helpful. Like I've, even when I wrote before, I would fucking smoke. I would smoke before and then after. Definitely helps to reflect. I feel like it's a very reflective drug. What about when you're uh, streaming? I know you do a lot of live streams, like, and I know that you smoke while you're streaming. How does that? Yep. Does do, does it ever make you like more paranoid because people are watching you, or you feel like you're saying something goofy or whatever? Yeah, I feel like sometimes it helps. Sometimes it hurts. Um, everyone knows that I do, so they often like push me to smoke more than I would otherwise. Yeah. So then I get too stoned, and then I just like you know when I. When people get too stoned, often they just, like, clam up, you know? Yeah. And I feel like live streaming, you're supposed to just unhinge your jaw and fucking just let loose. Yeah. And so that can be, uh, you know, not a good thing in that regard. But for the most part, I love smoking. And whenever I start the stream, I, I smoke right away. I think it actually helps me to not think about what I'm saying because when I'm not stoned, I, like, over – I'll even – I'll just think about what I'm saying before I say it and when I'm stoned I'm more, I'm more willing to just say whatever the fuck is on my mind even like cause I'll say things like you know I'll talk about pussy and whatever <laughs> what? I'll, I'll say this is a good like uh, it's a good plus for, for weed and, and a, a good negative for drinking alcohol I, I, I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure we both partake in each but I'm yes. willing to say that that, that's better in that situation. If if people if you're on a, a stream and people are pushing you to do more, you, it's mm -hmm. it's way way different. Oh yeah, for sure. When you drink, it's like I I like drinking on stream. I always do drink on stream, but I have had many situations because I've you know I've been we've been streaming for a long time, yeah. and so it's been like a year, a year and a half or whatever. And drinking on every stream, there is gonna be times where you get fucking drunk as shit. And those are the times, like, I've had a lot of fun when I'm really drunk, and I've also had not a lot of fun when I'm really drunk. And I feel like drinking, you're more likely to not have as much fun compared to smoking. Like, when I smoke, it's rare that I don't have fun. Especially if people are <laughs> like, like, take a shot, take a shot, you know, like, yeah. keep, keep getting fucked. Like, people just want to see you just degrade into a fucking right. pile of nothing. Right, they're just trying to push you to that limit, and that's what they do. Because, like, as a viewer, that's what you want to see. Even that's what I'd want to see, you know. Wow. And so then I'm often willing to like fucking bend over backwards and do whatever they want. Uh, what about uh? Let's talk about paranoia. How do you feel about it? Like, uh, when you get stoned, do you typically, you know, feel anything like that, or well, for for maybe like the the first hour after t I take like the first hit or something I feel kind of paranoid and kind of nervous or something but I, I have natural mm -hmm. anxiety so that's not like it's not so crazy that that happens but usually right. after that it's just like I'm good to go once I settle in it's like alright here we go rest of the night here we go right right I get what you mean so you gotta like ease into it yeah um for me I'm like the type of person where I'm like a functional stoner I guess you could say where I like wake up in the morning and I fucking wake and bake, go for a walk with my dog, you know, get ready for work, take two hits, go to work. <laughs> for me, considering that's the way I do it, I get paranoid a lot. And I'm just like an overly paranoid person just in general. Like I'm in this parking lot and I just keep thinking there's police around me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're sort of like an ongoing paranoia kind of thing every now and then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like paranoia, like what you're talking about, like it's around people. Because, like, when I'm by myself or whatever, I don't give a shit. Like, I, that's my favorite. If you're watching a movie, does it does it enhance the experience for you? Yeah, I feel like weed enhances everything for me <laughs> in a positive light, more or less. Like, I feel like I enjoy life more, just in general. Like, I feel like, yeah. for me, like, if I didn't smoke weed all the time, I feel like I'd be slightly depressed, to be perfectly honest. But considering I'm constantly stoned... Uh, there's nothing to be depressed about. <laughs> I, I get you. I hear you there. I, yeah. Well, I, during not that you asked, but I'm gonna tell it the story anyway. Yeah. Please <laughs> yeah. tell it to me. <laughs> um, Hit me with it. 
I used to smoke weed all day, every day, all the time. That was my thing. Mm -hmm. I didn't drink. I didn't smoke cigarettes. None of that shit. It was just weed all the time, smoking blunts, smoking bongs, like all the time. And mm -hmm. uh, and then I got myself in trouble and uh, wasn't uh, allowed to do that. And then I picked up smoking cigarettes and drinking a lot more. And mm. uh, it's very, very not okay that I picked up those other bad, very, very bad yeah. habits. Right. I totally agree. I feel like they're they're like fillers in a sense like i feel like drinking doesn't really i feel like it helps me in social situations like i'm more willing to talk just to people you know just in general if i'm drinking but yeah and even smoking cigarettes like i just feel like when i'm around people that smoke i want to smoke cigarettes too <laughs> that's, that's that's the way I smoking think about cigarettes it. does nothing it's just something I know. to do it makes no sense yeah i feel like they're very social drugs, in my opinion. I, I feel like weed used to be a social thing uh, mm -hmm. for me, and now it's... it's Again, it's like uh, when I'm around a lot of people, and they're smoking, and they're like, dude, you gotta get stoned with us. It's a, it's a bonding experience for everybody. But for me, it's like, as soon as I do that, I'm gonna be weird for a while. And like, right. I'm gonna be cool around you guys for a bit. I don't mean to right. make it sound negative. That's just personally how... It, how it works for me because I got fucking weird anxiety and shit. No, I totally feel you, man. And it, it's it's good though that you recognize it and like understand uh, that if you were to, you wouldn't have a good time. You know what I mean? So that's good that you don't fucking put yourself in that situation. Well, even when I do, usually like I still have a good time and other people have a good time and they're happy that I did it with them. But right. then I can't tell interesting stories because I because I get lost. Uh, what yep. was I gonna say next? <laughs> Lost in your own fucking train of thought. Dude, oh yeah, this uh, brings up your point that you made a moment ago um, about the first hit of a, the day. I feel like that there's something to that. Uh, the first hit is always like the strongest, you know? Like, it's so weird. After that first hit, the next couple hits aren't even as strong, it seems like. Yeah. Did you get high the first time you smoked? Did it take a couple of times for you to feel it? No, because I, uh, the first time I smoked weed, so, like, my history of smoking is I was an idiot when I was, like, 15, and we stole cigars, and we would inhale them to get that little buzz, because we were weirdos like that, and I went to a party where it was, like, a concert when I was, like, 16 or something, and there was kids smoking cigarettes outside, I was, like, they're, like, you want, I, like, started smoking a cigar with them, <laughs> <laughs> They're like, what are you doing, you loser? Like a fucking Swiss or sweet? Dude, I, 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 if I were there, I would have been like, that dude's a badass. That's a power yeah. move. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> and then they're like, dude, just try one of these, bro. And so I just switched over to that. And so I had smoked those before uh, weed, so I knew how to inhale. So I got fucking very stoned the first time. Like, I remember it was, like, slightly a hallucination, you know? Because I feel like the first time you smoke weed, it's... That's an interesting thing to bring up. Like, the first time you smoke weed, it, like, changes you, I feel like. Because you're you, the way that you perceive life is, like, you're on this one-way one, tr one way track. And then when you smoke weed, it, like, shows you that there's this whole other track that you could be experiencing life under. Like, another perspective that you couldn't have had unless you did smoke weed. And I feel like that's that, that experience of that is fucking radical. It's, like, fucking weird. Yeah. <laughs> I think it took like three joints for me to finally get high the first time. And it may really? have been bad weed, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, if it's Reggie, fucking like, so shitty. But yeah, I got, the first time I got high, it was like a fucking religious experience. <laughs> I remember I was in my friend's basement, we were like dancing to something really, like music I didn't even like. And then we went upstairs and his mom made meatballs and we were like dancing while eating the meatballs. It was so weird, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Such a it's a weird, weird experience. Just visualizing, just eat, eat the meatballs, smoke some weed, yeah. having a good time. Just like fucking super duper squinty eyed, eating meatballs, <laughs> fucking sauce stripping on the floor, probably. I only do it uh, after at night, uh, after I'm at home by myself, yeah. uh, being responsible. I uh, all my res duties are uh, taken care of for the day and. Uh, Partake. 